So first, I'll give you the quick abbreviated version. After that, I'll go deeper into the process for those who like the details. The buyer's lender will order the appraisal during or right after the due diligence period. I will let you know when the appraiser contacts me to set up an appointment to visit your property. You'll want to treat the appraisal like a showing, lights on, house clean, and it's always best if you can be there to meet the appraiser and answer any questions they may have. Last, we will not get a copy of the appraisal report unless the property does not appraise. So here's the, the deeper dive into the appraisal process. The buyer's lender orders the appraisal through a third-party appraisal portal. This is done so that the lender and the appraiser do not communicate, which helps to ensure that the appraisal process is legitimate and representative of the true market value of the property. This third party process is one of the many safeguards that was put into effect as a result of what we saw happen to the housing market in 2008. Now there are a bunch of appraisers in the Midlands, so there's no way to tell who the appraiser is gonna be and we can't select which appraiser we would like. Appraisers log into a secure appraisal portal where they can grab a job or an appraisal and they then have a certain amount of time, usually a few business days, to schedule the appraisal with the listing agent, perform an on-site appraisal of the home, do the market research, complete the paperwork, and then submit the appraisal report directly to the lender through that real estate portal. Now, usually I'll receive a call the day of or the day before from the appraiser telling me that he wants to come appraise the property. I'll then reach out to you to coordinate. Now, it's very important that we do our best to accommodate their appointment request. Our real estate market is flourishing and appraisers are overloaded and overwhelmed up against tight deadlines. So we want to make this process as easy as possible for them. We also want to make sure that the experience is much like it was for the buyer when they came in. House is clean, looks good, smells good, lights on, um, and it's ready to go. Now, to determine the market value of your property, the appraiser will do a visual inspection and measure for square footage. It is always best for you to be there to meet the appraiser. I believe that when an appraiser comes to a property, everything looks great and you're there smiling, helpful, ready to answer any questions that they may have. We are just helping to ensure that we get as much information that's needed to the appraiser, we get a fair appraisal. So being present, very important. But if you're not able to, that's okay too. A good portion of appraisers will have access to the MLS box and they can get a key to the property and get in. Others will not have access and they'll ask me to put a coded contractor lockbox on your property so they can gain access that day. Once the appraiser completes the report, they will submit it to the bank through the appraisal portal, which the buyer's lender can then access. Due to lending guidelines and privacy laws, we will not be given a copy of the appraisal or be told the appraised value unless the home doesn't appraise. So really, no news is good news. However, most of the time, the lender will tell the buyer's agent that the house appraised, usually for contract value, and usually the buyer's agent will then pass that information on to me and I can let you know. Now, if a property is priced appropriately to market value, most of the time you can expect that the home will appraise for contract price or market value. As always, if you have any questions throughout the process or I didn't answer anything here and you want to know more about the appraisal process, just reach out. I'm happy to help.